Hello, it's Monday the 27th of April and as we continue on through our quarantine and lockdown and all the rest of it, uh, this is a chance for us to gather virtually and worship our God. So we'll just pause for a moment and be quiet as we prepare to pray and to pay our attention, uh, give our time to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We pause for a moment of reflection uh, of what has happened in the last day or uh, the last few days perhaps, and bring all of our burdens and our sins before our Heavenly Father who loves us. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 61. Hear my crying, O God, and listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you with fainting heart. O set me on the rock that is higher than I. For you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever and take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, will hear my vows. You will grant the request of those who fear your name. You will add length of days to the life of the king, that his years may endure throughout all generations. May he sit enthroned before God forever. May steadfast love and truth watch over him. So will I always sing praise to your name and day by day fulfil my vows. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from St Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, 
when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance towards redemption as God's own people to the praise of his glory. The response to the reading is the Gospel Canticle Nunc Dimittis. The Lord is risen as he promised to you. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen, as he promised to you. We come now to our reflection on one of the sayings of the Desert Fathers. A brother asked one of the elders, How does fear of the Lord get into a man? And the elder said, If a man have humility and poverty, and judge not another, that is how fear of the Lord gets into him. Those who seek after God generally do want to be transformed from what they have been. They know that life without God is far from perfect, but they, we, are on a journey towards God. However, so often we think, and to be honest, so often we've been taught, that it's about getting more, getting something, acquiring something. It's about being better, wiser, shinier, and so on. Not so. The Desert Fathers, in many places, including this one, remind us that the path is humility, remembering you are but dust, poverty, seeing the futility of thinking that you own anything, and non-judgmentalism, understanding that it is your heart that needs to be redeemed. In other words, the path is downwards, not upwards. That is the inner logic of the kingdom of God. To live, you must die. To breathe the spirit, you must drown in the waters of baptism. To be free, you must become a slave of Christ. Until we let go of the belief that Christianity is about ascent, riches, success, power, we cannot experience the descent, humility, poverty, slavery to Christ, into the awesome abyss of God's love. Some words from scripture. Jesus said, whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Bringing to mind what's happening in our lives and in the world, let us pray together for a moment. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us, that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life, and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray together as our Saviour has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. In the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Pray that you're remaining safe and well, and I look forward to joining with you to pray and to worship soon. Thank you very much for joining with me and with others to pray this evening. <laughs>